Yo, back again with another video. Going up against the Kansas City Chiefs today. And my conversation about Tariq Hill. It's 99 speed. That gives me fits. Every time I see this team, I just get nervous. He's the only guy I fear on the team. I, I can do. I can stop everything I want to stop, but him going deep is almost like it, it destroys defenses. You're so focused on worrying about the deep ball that you're not really playing. I'm not really playing defense for anything else. I'm just worried about him going deep all the time. But nonetheless, Merry Christmas to everybody. Had a nice Christmas with the fam. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. So I'm starting off the game here, and he's already coming out here in some weird defense where I'm coming out in 2-1-2, two, two, and you're coming out here in double-A gap. Like, come on. Really? That's a pass defense. Why would you come out on a, against a wrong formation? You're just asking to get beat. So I'm just going to run the ball. I'm going to give him a slant here. Did I give him a slant? Yeah, I did. I give him a slant. Here comes the fit. See the slants? Dude, man. I don't know where you got to learn that defense from, but I've used that from time to time, but I use it against pass plays. You don't run that against pass plays? I mean, pass for, I mean uh, run formation? It goes again. Double A gap. You're just going to get beat up with this thing. I keep running it. Keep on running it. Keep on running it. This is his, uh... Against his cover three, double A gap. Just gonna run the ball to the middle. You know that this defense doesn't work against everything, my friend. He's vulnerable against the run. Vulnerable against the run. Play what you see on the field, man. Just play what you see on the field. All right, man. He's back on offense, and here is my dilemma. So I see three wide receivers here. I'm thinking he was gonna play like. The way most people play, which is basically sending your receivers across the field, but he's sending this guy in motion. And, oh, I recognize it's too late. I try to jump on, but look at the speed on this guy. Look at this. The top of the entire defense. <laughs> ah, this guy is crazy. So, all right, all right. You got me there. As you guys know that that's what's going to, you know, it's going to be coming next time. I get back on, uh, get back on defense. <sighs> that's it, man. That's the entire freaking offense that I've seen so I don't know, I think it's to me they need to reduce his, his speed threshold like you, he let him be good but man you can't play really play any zones against that guy you just block all everybody and just send him off field so what I'm going to do for the rest of the game is contain him contain his offense make him drive all the way into my red zone and then contain it that way because that's just it just destroys defenses but yeah, he's still coming out. He decided to switch his defense now. Now he's playing, uh, I think this is Bear formation. <laughs> Cover three. And I'm just going to eat it up, too. I don't know what kind of blitz you're sending. It's not going to work, my friend. It's not going to work. I'm just going to isolate your outside corners. Let's play those purple or flat or cloud zones. And I'm just going to play on the outside. I'm going to eat on the outside. So you want to keep doing that? We're just going to eat on the outside. Keep sending your blitz. We're just going to eat on the outside all day. Up and down. High low. Up and down. So you decide to switch out that defense. Oh, he starts to switch. Now we're going to run up the middle. Now he's playing 2-4-5. Uh, but then the middle is wide open. Like, man. It's crazy. I'm going to show you every situation. Like, they're not reading my offense. It's like they don't read defenses. Look at the middle. Look at the middle. Nobody over the center. What do you think is going to happen? Sometimes they make playing playing offense too easy. Come on down to the line and get blocked. There you go. Come on, use your core and get blocked. I like when people come into the my my gaps and try to you know disrupt my blocking, especially when I'm running the ball. Like come on down. Like I want you to come down there. That way, I at least my linemen know who to block. It makes it easy for them to block. And just come on down there. And take yourself out of the play. Come on down to the line. Come on down. Come on. Settle down right there. And get blocked. I'm going to pass right here. He's not been running all day. He's not going to expect this. See that. Just hit him in the back. Touchdown. All right, man. Now we got to go back to this uh, to his offense. 
and see how he is running this. Let's see if we can stop it now. Alright, now I'm just trying to send Blitz. Let's see if he sends that guy in motion again. Oh, did he send me in motion this time? Sends him across. Ah! Jeez. I only got like four guys in coverage. And I'm blitzing everybody else. Because on those long plays, you know, he's blocking his running back, so. So we take it away this time. I set a flat out there. But when he sent that guy in motion, I had to cancel to the original play. That's the reason why you see the guy that was supposed to be out there jump back inside to play the pass rush. And my guy's getting pancaked over here because I set a uh, quarterback spy. Which is crazy. One quarterback spy on my guys gets leveled on the line. Look at that. Again. One quarterback spy, really? <laughs> I guess you can't set quarterback spies then. Because that'll happen. If you run the ball, that is. Oh, my lineman gets flattened. Alright, so good. Not this time, though. This is not one of the, this is just double white cell. What he's really doing is you send heal in motion and then throw the deep post. So right, he's able to get in here again. But as you can see, my my defense is completely disrupted because I'm worried about heal all the time. And I think it's only really I mean Kansas City was okay for me to play, but once they boosted his rating to 99 overall speed, it's like it makes it almost impossible to play this team. It's just annoying because that's what people are gonna do all day is, is max protect and send him on a, a deep, uh, a deep track. I mean a deep, uh, a deep uh, fly route. That's it. So I'm trying to stay on top there to try to help because he's coming over across, which he is. We close him on the flat so he dumps underneath. All right, that's cool. And if you notice, is the way he's running plays, he's sending one guy on a drag, one guy on a post. That's all he's doing. He's gonna send a guy in motion, send him on a drag. He's probably a send heel. Heel's coming back on the drag. And there's a post coming on top of the field. So it's, it's easy to see this. See this? And he's going to exploit my defense where they have defenders on the field completely not doing anything. They're just not doing anything. So if you're going to play coverage, that's why I'm going to start sending blitz. Because if you're not playing coverage against this, so I'm using the, my Galvi on the end is to catch the drag that's coming across. Because I know there's a drag coming across. All right, come on. It's a drag coming across and got going on top, but I was blitzing this time. So, you see, they see the wide open tight end on the very, very top. I think that's probably where he was going to, but my blitz got there before he can launch that ball up on the upfield. It was a gamble I'm taking, you know, probabilities, remember? Calculated gamble. So, I'm going to try to play the drag myself this time, but then watch my linebackers. I don't do anything on the field. Look at this, these two guys. The other guy, he should be covering that drag coming on the very top. I'm covering the other side, and he. he I got four defenders on the field doing absolutely nothing. That's why this stuff is able to work. I mean, if that's the real NFL, you look around you, there's no assignment on your side. You see what's coming up behind you and you fall back to play, you know, to play defense up there. But they don't do that in the game. It's all spot drops. So once they get to the limit, you know, you just, you just spot drop. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to fake like I'm taking up the drag. But I'm actually going to be taking the drag coming up the middle. Because I know that's what he wants to do. So who's coming? I just I know there's somebody coming on the drag. Let's see who's coming on the drag. I put hard flats on the field this time. So he snaps. I figure like I'm taking the drag away. But I see the guy on top coming over me. So I'm going to jump back up. Take him away. And let the other guy take the drag. See, that's who be his receiver right there. But he's not even looking at him. Just to throw it over here to this guy. Because the blitz is coming. Uh huh. Got you this time, my friend. Got you this time. He didn't even have to even run like he was running. He just panicked because he saw the blitz coming. His running back is sitting there wide open. That should have been his read. So, tries to run again. Not this time, it's not blitzing. This time from the outside. Not made to hold him. Alright, now we got him on. What I want him. So, the same thing. Same, same exact same scenario. He's going to send him over there and bring him on a drag. But he can have the drag. I will see the cloud flats I put on the field. I'm trying to take this post to the sidelines away, which I, which he did finally this time. Yeah, you can take the drag all day. I'm not going to take it. And I just got to worry about anything coming across the center of the field, which is nobody's coming. But there goes the post I'm talking about to the sideline. And there's nothing open. So now you're forced to take this. 
But he throws it, and he doesn't make the completion. So, he played into my hands that time. Got him where I want him. And that's that's the same play he scored his touchdown on. That touchdown right through to the side, missed his field goal. All right, let's get back on offense. Because he hasn't really been able to stop me. See, I was going to... Let me see right here. Ah, look at this. Double-A gap going. He does to the outside to the left. You guys know where I'm going. You guys know where I'm going. You don't need to read anything. When you mess up like that. You got to make him pay. You got to make him pay. This is a good run right here against people that want to run double-A all day. You keep doing this so much, they're going to get tired and decide to get off of it. Now he's thinking this is my offense. No. You guys see me play all the my, how I play. How often do I run my, off, my offense like this? The only reason why I'm doing it like this is because of the way he's playing defense. Like, I'm not going to put myself in the hole trying to pass against whatever he has set up right now. I'll just keep running up the middle. Like, sooner or later, he's going to learn that this stuff is not going to stop the run. And you think, right? You would think. He would know, but... It's not enough yet. Trying to give him a different variation. Thank you. Bring that guy in here. Make it worse. Make yourself get blocked. Like people aren't counting the blocks on the line. Like when he brings that, that safety all the way down into the box, you're just making it easier for my lineman to block him. Instead of chasing up my guy chasing all the way out to, the, to go get him, you make it easy when you bring him up to the line. You gotta be careful with stuff like that. Alright, 14 21. Oh, almost had the sack. Almost had the sack. Now you tell me where he's reading my defense for any of this. You just call an exploitive routes, and then you just block max, max block, and then just wait for those routes to get open upfield because the, the defense is just not gonna play it. Like last year, the problem was close formations because they didn't have quarters. Now they have quarters. Now this is the thing they got to fix for next year is these deep crossing routes. I shouldn't have to man my man all the way across field just to get him to play it right, you know. I should be able to cover with the zone. But the zones are only going to drop only so far. So what I'm doing is there's specific parts of the field I'm giving him because I don't want him to beat me deep. So all that deep stuff that he scored with the first touchdown, it's not going to be there anymore. So all these drags underneath, it's going to be wide open. So that's just the way my defense, I'm playing my defense right now. See, I'm giving him everything underneath. You can have all those. If you want to keep taking all those. Because what I'm trying to do is bring him into the red zone. Like I want, But see right here, I made a mistake. I played cover two here. And I should have known, see, Watson is running, I'm a Watkins, he's running that deep post again to the sidelines. And I thought this cloud would cover it, but he doesn't really cover it. Because he's, wor he's worried about the drag. And I already got the drag. Like, stay up there. <laughs> you see what I mean? So you got to play like a cover four or cover three on that right there. So I was trying to take the underneath it. I figured he would just stay up there if I take underneath. Now we got two guys sticking a drag route. And he's able to throw that post that I had covered last time. So now he's going with the outside kick. Like I just wish the guys were smart. You know what I mean? Like, jeez. But then, yeah, I should have recognized that the computer was going to automatically do that. I should have just took it myself. So freaking frustrating sometimes. All right, it's all good. So three minutes left. And the thing is, I'm getting with that run play, that run play, that run play, and he keeps playing. See, there he goes again. I'm trying to come out of a different formation, and he's still in double-A gap. Like, come on, dude. You get what I mean? Like, they don't adjust at all. He have no way they're going to set up. Now he's coming out in 5-2 trying to stop the run. Then I hit him with the pass. And I'm going to go back to run the ball because you can still run it on 5-2. With all your guys engaged on the line, I can still run this play on this 5-2. I'm just going to run the outside a drag because they're all covered in the middle. Because he's trying to stop everything in the middle while he's taking it to the outside. Well, if he wasn't for the run game, I mean, I probably could still pass. I just never wanted to even test it. I'm not even testing the pass, but I just ran the ball most of the time. Because it wasn't like I couldn't pass. I passed it in you know, the first part of the game. It's just, since he just wanted to play a specific kind of defense, I just had to just keep punishing him. And I know in his mind he's probably pissed and thinking maybe this is the only way I know how to play, but come on, you guys know. There are other ways to skin a cat. He's just, since he wants to play a specific kind of defense, then all right, I'll just keep running the same kind of plays. See, 70, 72 was chasing the, his controlled uh, safety, which is what I freaking hate sometimes. I really want to run up the middle, 
the safety saved them. Everybody got pancakes here. Look, they all got pancakes. Yeah, so that safety kind of saved them. And I'll just go to touchdown. I think he probably put those guys on coverages again. So I'll take my field goal and let's see if we can stop his offense without no timeouts. Like I told you, the only thing I'm worried about is the deep fly route. So I'll push my guys up. They come forward with the top. So you can send them deep all you want, man. Just send like blitz. And you can take that. That's fine. That's a cool little huddle now. I'm going to hit him with a couple two blitz. Actually, it's a man blitz, I believe, is it? Let's see which one I choose here first. Let's see. Okay, it's a couple two blitz. Ooh, I should have picked it off. Alright, I'm going to switch it up again here. This is a man blitz. I just got to cover anything that's coming across. See my guy bumping on the left? I, I'm trying to push him up, but he wouldn't get off. I get off of him. <laughs> the other guy came off, but not him. He almost got beat on top. But I was able to bat it down. All right, so same defense. I'm just going to push up this time and give him some give him some leverage. There we go. All right, let's go. Just watch for any crossing routes. See, if he was a smart guy. When you put an out route on on, on, on Watson, but he's not thinking about that. He just wants to just launch bombs all day. He gets sacked this time. He sent too many guys on to, to a route, and so he sacked them. I'm blitzing seven every time, see, seven. And we protect him with four, and we sack him again. And again. Just not, he's just not a good thing. He wasn't really thinking. He just wants to launch those bombs, and that's what kind of got him in trouble in the end. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this one. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me one time. Bang! If you got any questions, hit me up in the comment section as usual. I try to respond to as most comments as I can. And until next time, fellas, I'll holla at you dudes later. Alright then. One.